Let's say you have a big scene like this one, and you did some scattering with geometry nodes. Simple nodes from distribution to instance points, nothing new, and we did make videos using those nodes before. Now the thing is, no matter what object you scatter or distribute, even with this low poly tree, be sure that there will be a time when the number of instances is too high for your device to keep his coolness. And in this case, the term proxy should run in your head. So proxy in a nutshell is a way to view any object, the tree we have, in the most low poly form while in the viewport. But we also keep it in full resolution while render. So it's a way to navigate smoothly through your scene without lag. Now the node job we need to do will happen between the tree, which is the object info node, and the instance connection. The idea here is to switch the trees in the viewport to something low poly while not affecting the final render. So first, let's add a switch node, then drop it on the line between the object and the instance slot. The switch node has two plugs, true and false, and at top we have the switch. The switch checkbox flip the true and false values. Now, since the switch is off, they are flipped. That's why the tree still showing on the false connection and will disappear on the true one. And we can keep it this way and turn on the switch. But we don't need that. We need it on the false to make the viewport true show as proxy. Once you have the tree connected to the false, we need another low poly object to fill the true slot. Say like a cube. This way, if we plug a cube into the true value, then turn on the switch. It will show the trees as cubes. You know, they are trees, but now they are cute, light, smoothly viewable cubes. You can replace the cube with any low poly form or shape that you have, but an easier way to make proxy shapes is with a node called convex hull. We add this one to the true slot and connect the object to it. Thus, the tree become a proxy shape before start showing in the viewport. With this, you can keep it cool even after spiking the numbers to crazy levels. If the proxy is weird shaded in the material view, you can drop after the convex a set material node and choose any material from your scene to show on the proxy. If you want to render this, it will show up as proxy and not the tree we want to render. That's because it's still manual with the switch checkbox. So to fix this, you just need a node called ice viewport, plug it to the switch as shown, and you're good to go. That's it. Subscribe, cause why not? And see you in another video. Stay sharp. Goodbye.